Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It is Saturday morning. As always, a coffee kind of morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day out there today. Probably cold as hell. I haven't been out yet. Um, I want to continue my look at a great band you need to listen to. Uh, yesterday, I looked at uh, the amazing band Atomic Rooster. This is not a theme going on, but today I'm going to look at Budgie. <laughs> Another bird-based band. Um, this is uh, from a box set. This is the MCA albums, 1973 to 1975. Uh, their third, fourth and, fourth, and fifth album. I need to find more stuff. Uh, I have a greatest hits uh, in vinyl. I didn't bring it out, but uh, I think most of them are on, on these sets here. So if you don't know Budgie, uh, I'm going to talk to them in just a second. Before we get into it, though, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collections. Because you guys, your likes, your subscriptions, wonderful, wonderful comments that keep me going, keep me motivated to do this kind of thing, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun um, going back and, and rediscovering this amazing music. And this band, Budgie, is one that I'm going to be listening to for a while. Man, they are so good. Um, it, uh, <laughs> it's a combination of uh, a few bands, I feel. Um, the high vocals of Rush, the heaviness of Black Sabbath, Uriah Heep mixed in with the amazing uh, musicianship of this band, uh, wonderful guitar work, uh, beautiful ballads, just heavy, heavy stuff, rock and stuff as well. It's such a great band. Um, so if you don't know um, Budgie, they're a, a great Welsh heavy rock band formed in 1967. A very influential band at the time, one of the heaviest bands in 1967 as well as far as hard rock goes. Um, they are not hard metal, they are hard rock. Um, their original lineup was Burke Shelley on vocals and bass, a very Getty Lee-like uh, vocal style. Amazing bass player as well. Uh, Tori Berg on guitar and vocals, just rocks it out. And uh, Ray Phillips on drums. Uh, they were originally known as the Hills uh, Contemporary Grass. Uh, way way back, they changed the name to um, um, Six Ton, or they wanted to call themselves Six Ton Budgie, but they shortened it to Budgie in '68. Um, the meaning of the name was uh, they wanted uh, to use um, the band's name Budgie uh, to play noisy, heavy rock music um, against something that wouldn't like music, like a Budgie would uh, would hate. The noise and, and, and the sound of it. Um, again, combination of Rush and Black Sabbath mixed together. Uh, that's the easiest way to describe this band. Um, so again, this wonderful little box set, and I've got to find more of their vinyl, is their third and fourth and fifth albums. Uh, so I'll be looking at those in just a second here. I uh, just wanted to show you a few great photos from the booklet that comes with this. Uh, I really appreciate this band again. I, I was listening to it uh, yesterday and, and last night when I uh, was making some notes for this video. Man, so good. So, so good. Um, Metallica has used a few of their songs. Iron Maiden has few, used a few of their songs. Um, very influential band and uh, there's the that cover as well just a cool cool hard rock band um so this box set again contains um three of their studio albums and this is um their third album Never Turn Your Back on a Friend. I love the artwork in these as well. 
no booklet in these, just the booklet in the box set itself. But uh, cool, cool design and budgie. So, Never Turn Your Back on a Friend, 1973 release. Um, contains the track uh, Bread Fan, which Metallica would cover in, 19, in 1987. Yeah, and you could tell it's a Metallica song. Just the heavy guitar riffs in the beginning, the lead work in the beginning. Uh, it's the opening track of this album as well. Again, I can see Metallica using it. Just the, the style of the song, it's, it's so good. It's Metallica, basically. Uh, great riffs, um, lead work as well. Killer track, killer track. Um, and then um, they do a great version of Baby Please Don't Go, um, but they heavy it up. Um, and uh, make it rock and bluesy. Uh, again, great, great bass lines. He's a great player, uh, bass player. Uh, and then there's a beautiful ballad in here, kind of slow it down. Uh, you know, I'll Always Love You. Just uh, acoustic guitar and vocals. It's gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Um, uh, and uh, <laughs> you're the biggest thing since... Uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> You're the biggest thing since Powdered Milk. What a song title. What a nice thing to say about someone. <laughs> but, uh, uh, great. Just a great rockin' track. <laughs> so good. Again, uh, lots of great bass and heavy riffs on that one. But what a song title. You're the biggest thing since Powdered Milk. Uh, yeah, you want to, someone wants to hear that. For sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, Sorry, I'm getting my, my notes all mixed up here after that one. Uh, in the grip of a tire fitter's hand, and they spell tire in the British way, T-Y-R-E. Um, love the rhythm of the track. Um, the guitar, there's overdubbed guitar on top of regular guitar in this one, but they blend together. It's really, really cool stuff. Um, very heavy, very Sabbath-like. Um, Riding My Nightmare. Another great track. Uh, a bit of a lighter track, though. Uh, great acoustic guitar again and vocals. So they can tone it down. They can ripen up again. And it ends with Parents. Um, heavy 70s uh, rock song. Um, love the guitar in that one as well. Very dramatic. It's it's, it's very deep track. I've, I want to listen to it again because there's a lot of stuff going on in that song. Um but uh, very, very awesome album from start to finish. Um, never turn your back on a friend. And uh, these guys are super, super talented musicians. Super talented musicians. Um, then you have, um, I believe it's this one here. Yes, In For The Kill, the fourth studio album. little different black version of the CD um, again um, Metallica very influential uh, influenced sorry by by Budgie um, crash course for brain surgery um, they uh, they used that on their um, garage days revisited album which is cool. And they also, uh, In For The Kill, the title track was used by Van Halen in one of their uh, club dates. So it's, again, Budgie influenced so many bands, so many bands. Um, by this time, Ray Phillips, uh, the drummer, had left, and in came uh, Pete Boot, uh, another great drummer, by the way, he's so, so good. So the opening track, In For The Kill, uh, heavy lead work, um, and then you get the steady riff going on, rock and track, great groove in the in the track as well. Then you got crash course and brain surgery. Um, it's deep and dark and, and tons of riff, very Sabbath like in this one. I know I'm I'm comparing it to Sabbath a lot, but I can just hear Sabbath doing these songs. Uh, and uh, wondering what everyone knows. Um, 
love the bongos on that one as well. It's 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 uh, kind of a dream sequence. Um, yeah, it's, it's a cool, cool track. And then you've got um, Zoom Club. Very bluesy on this one. Uh, builds with great, great riffs. And then the bass and drums kill it for the rest of the song. Um, and uh, it's a nine, nine minute and 57 second jam, basically. Um, and uh, the lead guitar work on this one is amazing. Hammer and Tongs. Um, heavy riffs. Uriah Heap. Sabbath sounding. Great vocals. The, again, these guys rock. What a great solo on that one as well. Uh, Running for My Soul. The lead work uh, is bluesy. Another bluesy track on this one. The band's on fire. The band's on fire. Then it ends with uh, Living on Your Own. Uh, another long track. Uh, under Just under nine minutes. Um, uh, the riff and leads work shine on this one as well. Uh, another fantastic album. Just a, a killer, killer album. Uh, in for the kill. I mean, I haven't listened to Budgie in probably a year. And uh, I'm rediscovering just how fantastic this band is. Uh, they're right up there with Black Sabbath, Uriah Heat, Deep Purple. They're even harder than Deep Purple. But uh, one of my favorites. Becoming one of my favorites for sure. I don't know why it took me so long to re-listen again. Of course, there's so much music going on. I've got so much music in my in my catalog. It's just crazy. But uh, and then their fifth album, uh, Bandolier. Another great one. Some great photos there. Uh, I find uh, this one is a little different, not in a bad way. Um, just a bit of a change of style, um, a little more, uh, funkier perhaps, um, released in 1975, the first to feature Steve, uh, Williams, or Willen on drums, Williams, sorry, Steve William on drums, and Pete Boot had left the band as well, so they, they're going through drummers like, <laughs> um, um, and the uh, song on this one, I Can't See My Feelings, was covered by Iron Maiden. Again, very influential. Uh, breaking All the House Rules <clears throat> starts off the album. Almost a southern rock feel to this one. Uh, Nazareth sounding. Not as heavy, but still rocks. So again, they, they've toned it down a bit, I guess. Um, Slip Away, another slow track. But with a beautiful solo in it, clean solo as well, um, and uh, just amazing. Um, and uh, it's it's such such a great great song. Um, what do you do for love? It's a funky track again. That got that funky rhythm. Not as heavy as the songs in the past. Jazzy, uh, jazz fusion like, um, but it heavies up in the near the end. It just they they go all over the board on this one. It's amazing. I Can't See My Feelings. Um, and again, amazing track. Cool mixture of uh, acoustic and, and uh, electric guitars on this one. Love the rhythm of the song. Um, I Ain't No Mountain, another great rock song. Uh, again, they seem to lighten it up a little bit on this one. Uh, just going for more straight-ahead rock and roll. But uh, And then it ends with uh, Napoleon Bonaparte's 1 and 2. Uh, great vocals and acoustic, and then it ramps it up in the end, rocks it out. Uh, very Maiden-like, very um, Uriah Heap-like song. Uh, again, Fast and Furious solos in this one. It's a great way to end the album. So overall, it's a fantastic album. Um, uh, out of the three, I can't say it's my least favorite. It's just not as... Um, not as uh, hard as the other two albums, but still a great, great album overall. So if you don't know Budgie, uh, it's been great to look back and, and rediscover this, this awesome, awesome band. 
um, they combine hard rock and some jazz fusion and, and um, funk, rock funk, I guess if that's a category. Um, again, if you, if you mix Rush and Sabbath and Uriah Heat and all these great heavy bands and put them together, you've got Budgie. It's right up my alley. It's a bass-driven band. Um, and again, just as hard as, as, as anyone you want to listen to. And um, uh, Burke Shelley's vocals, again, very Getty Lee-like. Uh, not in a bad way, but uh, it, it's just, he's got such vocal range. He can tone it down. He can, he can scream it out. Um, they've influenced so many bands, Iron Maiden, Metallica, Megadeth, Van Halen, um, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden. All these guys have been influenced by Budgie. Uh, if you don't know Budgie, you should. Definitely a great band you need to listen to. Definitely, definitely. So check out Budgie. This box set is a great way to start. Uh, very reasonable. Again, contains their first, um, third, fourth, and fifth albums. I've yet to find their their first and second and beyond, uh, but uh, awesome band, Budgie. So there you have it, guys. Um, tomorrow I'll be doing my um, contest update, um, figuring out who's all entered. I've had a ton of entries, which has been probably my most popular contest to date, which is fantastic. I don't know how many entries I have. I'll find out and I'll let you guys know tomorrow. And um, have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. Love you all. Bye now.